<laughs> I'm Deepa. I'm 69, and I have had diabetes since 22 years. Okay. Uh, allopathic medicines for about 20 years and insulin for about six years. Okay. In the past three years, my insulin dosage has been going down. Okay. And I mean, it was up to 100 units a day I was taking. Now I'm taking 28 plus 10. Huh. Uh, in the past three months, it has come down from 50 total to 40, 38. Okay. Ma. So I wanted to, of course, my sugars morning sugars are much better generally around 100 110 or something fasting depending on whether i was able to sleep or not and okay. i mean if there was some stress factors are there like yes but, uh, uh, generally i find that in the evening before dinner if i check my sugar uh, my blood sugar it is around 250 or not so okay so that disturbs me, but that is that I am a vegetarian. I have uh -huh. only home cooked food, uh -huh. and I am a very strict vegetarian. You can say no onion, no garlic, etc., which may not be good for uh, Ayurvedic, but whatever it is, this is the way I am. I what? want. I have to get up at least twice at night. I, actually, I get up only twice at night at two a.m. and at four a.m. Yes. Go to the washroom, uh -huh. and in the daytime it is four times five times like that only uh, uh. So, and I have been checking the color is clear there is no dark color at night or in the uh. daytime or anything I uh. mean I am sort of obsessive about my health so that is that uh. so, I wanted to know is this uh, getting up twice at night frequent of course I do take instrument around 8 8 30 yes uh, along with my insulin just before dinner Yes. And I also take the BP medicine, Amlong, uh -huh. 2.5 at night. Okay. And, uh, I take these in the morning also, but that is uh, different. So is that causing the getting up at night? That is the reason because I, I previously, as I explained, the medicines is what uh, piles up or collects your uh, glucose, excess amount of glucose. And uh, it is it, the glucose has no other way to go outside your body. Yes. what happens is that certain times or if you go back uh, initially when you're uh, 20, 22 years back, initially when you were diabetic, if you have experienced excessive sweating also when you were a, di a diabetic at that point of time, that is also one of the way where the body is trying to release the excess amount of glucose through sweat. If not, it is going to go out through the urination itself. That is, it is not bad, but what happens is that once this whole loop, what I said, that frequent urination, thirst, all this loop or the night urination also, it starts to damage your kidney and leads to high blood pressure and many other complications. That is what is going to occur in the long period of time. The only answer to this is to reduce your blood sugar level or to manage your blood sugar level. Uh, looking after to not letting not it to spike or not eating the refined carbohydrates or you know simple rice or all those. I things. don't have anything. Uh... No refined, no bakery product, no maida in the house, no biscuits, yeah, yeah. nothing yes. like that. Yes. But uh, my HbA1c is now 6.6. 6.6. And the, the the only urination is in the night. The, no other, no, in the day you are absolutely fine. The lack of energy, all those things, hunger, craving and no, all those things. It is all right. I don't have any excess hunger. I eat only three times a day. I don't have any snacks mm -hmm. or anything that I'm able to control. Uh, mm -hmm. I, pretty strict about it. I mean, I will not have anything. I have a salad before lunch. I have not been having it before dinner. I don't uh, know what to have before dinner. Yeah. Before dinner, you should do the same thing that you do for the lunch, I would suggest. I generally have kheera, cucumber. Uh, yeah, that is good. That is fair enough. Uh, and my cholesterol good. and uh, kidney function, liver function, lipids are all normal. All fine? Yeah. The okay. only thing is this sugar, about six months ago, it was 8. Huh. eight HBMC was 8. 8.2 and now it is 6.6. I am becoming more strict with myself. That is all when I When you are in the right direction, uh, there is no issue. As in how you will reduce it, even you know, uh, once you surpass the 6, you come down to 5 or something, your frequent urination is also going to come down. There is no issue about that. 
and i also take a lot of moringa leaves i put them in my atta and, good, and good. from Don't my garden me. there's no nothing wrong with that no no nothing wrong Neem with that leaves and you know all these uh, yeah, yeah yeah you are in the right direction that is what as you explain me everything you are in the right direction there is no issue about that you can go ahead with the design or whatever the lifestyle choices that you are making with the knowledge that you have is absolutely right my osteoarthritis i'm not able to walk much i walk about 20 no, minutes you said you are around 69 years old i'm 69 and over a period of times what happens is that the the fluid in between the joints the synovial fluid that we call is yes. going to drastically reduce over a period of time and it is an age related geriatric problem that we say it is usually because of the age as in how we age we are oxidizing just like an apple when you cut an apple and you keep it open it comes it turns out to be red we are just same like that when we are newborn we are just young and lively as in how we age our hairs get white all these are signs and symptoms of you know a, a perishing of our oxidization of our own body so it is certain things uh, cannot be manageable certain thing, things what happens is that after age uh, you need an allopathy intervention yes Allah, yeah so certain times if you are able to manage it in best possible way through physiotherapy do physical activity any of those best possible ways it will be beneficial for you that is that only you need to manage it not correct it the we cannot correct it completely no doctor can uh, you know they would suggest you to a straight away surgery they will say the, that is the only solution they suggested surgery for past yeah, 30 yeah. years i am not doing they say that we'll put up plates uh, mm -hmm. in between your this one knees and you will be absolutely fine so i have i've seen that those cases and scenarios and um, it is obviously your, your call and your uh, your take on your health and how you are going to maneuver it uh, so that is till there where i i can guide i will be guiding you back Thank you so much. No welcome ma'am. Thank you all the best. Thank you so much. Diabetes Reversal Launchpad. Mission to educate and empower 10 lakhs plus diabetics by 2025 with knowledge to deal with diabetes in a better way. Master the art of managing and reversing diabetes with hand holding support in 3 hours live webinar and break the chain of lifelong medication with self discipline. Register now and reserve your spot for upcoming session.